Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my two day kitchen makeover. So if you missed part one, I will have that linked in the description, but this is the before my lovely yellow kitchen. We are currently renting our house and our landlord gave us the A-OK -okay to go ahead and paint it. And so as you would have saw in part one, I showed you guys how to prep for painting, but this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how we painted our kitchen cabinets. And I'm gonna show you guys how to paint your kitchen cabinets with them still intact. And make sure that you stay to the very end of the video where I will reveal what it looks like now. It turned out so good. Okay, everybody, it is now the second day and the walls are painted. As you can kind of see, I'm not gonna show you all of it as I will do the big reveal at the end of the video here, but we are about to tackle the cabinets. I just got the paint. This is the stuff that I got. And so I have all of the handles taken off. We're gonna try and paint it with the cabinets still intact. So we're gonna try and do it like that rather than taking all of them off. So we'll see how this goes. We're just gonna do it in place. And then I'm gonna buy some new handles, which I'm getting from Amazon, and I will have those linked below. But uh, yeah, let's start doing this. How'd you do? I'm not broken, i just split in two. Hope you're fine. The first thing that we're gonna do is start sanding and washing the cabinets. You said you would. Frames of the past and the memory. So I realized that I didn't show me sanding in the previous video, but I did sand the areas that needed to be sanded and I just used the same block here that I'm using in this video. This block was so easy to use and I would highly recommend it. So after I'm done sanding the area, I am going ahead and just giving it a good wipe like I did in the prep video using the same solution. Again, if you haven't seen the first part to this video, make sure that you go and check that out before watching this video. They say I was broken. How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say? All right, friends, I don't want to bore you too much with wiping things down as well. I assume you know how to do that. So now we're going to get on to the fun part, which is painting. So I'm going ahead and rolling our cabinets. With this paint that I use, it is a very thick paint. And so you'll notice it goes on really, really nicely. And one thing that they told me was that the paint has a very slow drip time. So you're supposed to really be careful with this stuff. And you'll notice I go from the very top and kind of pull down just to make sure that it's even. One thing that they told me at the shop was that if the paint drips, or if you turn away for a minute and then you look back at it and notice that the paint has in some way, shape or form, you know, malfunctioned or something, then what you're supposed to do is you're actually supposed to leave it and then work on it once it has dried. They say you made me come Here is what the cupboards look like side by side. It is crazy the difference this paint made. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't even. So Aaron found this cabinet in our back shed that we totally forgot about. So now I don't have a gap, which is really exciting. So we're gonna paint this. It is pretty gross, not gonna lie. When we finish the laminate countertops there, we will also do this one, but for now this is gonna have to do. And yeah, that's the inside. You can tell they just did a hack job. I mean, whoever painted here before just obviously did not care. So yeah, this is what we're dealing with. So you'll also notice that I am painting the inside of this cabinet. However, I chose not to paint the inside of all of the other cabinets, mainly because we are just currently renting and I don't really care to look at the inside of them. So all I did was the trim and the outside of the cabinets. I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time. I'm not broken, not broken, not broken. All right, 
right guys, now that I am almost done painting, it is time to do the handles. I found out obviously midway through doing this that half of the handles wouldn't fit. Even though I measured before, I measured about five cabinets and yeah, they all worked <laughs> and then the other half didn't. So I'm not really sure why whoever did this before measured differently, but yeah. So you can see whoever was in here before had numerous holes on the cabinets. So I installed those ones and then some of them even have like a third. So whoever was doing it measured obviously super horribly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of the handles. So I actually had to go back another day. My husband drilled some new holes and then he finished putting on the other handles and then I went in after and filled the holes. I got all the handles put on and now I'm gonna share with you the big reveal. everybody that is it for the big reveal I am so happy with how it turned out the only thing that we have left to do is the countertops and some caulking I'm still waiting on the countertop to get here so I will share that process with you guys as well in a future video so make sure that you hit that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and we will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>